I declare this convocation open. I will now present to you Reverend Ricky Branham of Ripley Chapel in Willard to deliver the invocation. Would you please bow your head for a word of prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, you declare in 1 Thessalonians 5:18, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Father, we thank you for the bright future that all of these graduates have. However, we also pause to thank you and we are reminded of the journey that has led to this very moment. God, we thank you for North Central State College, which has given these graduates a safe place to learn, a strong foundation to build upon as they enter into this next step of their lives. We thank you for the teachers who have so richly loved and cared for them. We thank you for the families who have cheered them on to this finish line. We thank you for the friends that have, they have found amongst all of their classmates. We thank you most of all, God, for your guidance, your wisdom, and your love that you have bestowed upon all these graduates. And we ask you, God, for your blessing upon this service. It is in Jesus Christ's name we pray, and everyone says, Amen. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Dory Diab, President of North Central State College. Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this most unique graduation ceremony. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty, and the staff of North Central State College, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the commencement ceremony for 2021 and the 59th commencement ceremony for our institution, which began as the Mansfield School of Technology in the early 1960s. The Central Technical College was chartered by the Ohio Board of Regents and certified by the Secretary of State in 1969. 30 years later, the college name was changed to North Central State College, and in 2019, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the college. As we reflect on our accomplishment, one thing is for certain. Every life that has been touched by North Central State College has helped our institution remain strong and focused on our core mission of increasing educational attainment preparing the area workforce and the future leaders in our community. Thanks to your support, we are celebrating over 50 years of service to the community with close to 15,000 graduates. As a badge of quality, being recognized as an Achieving the Dream Leader College of Distinction. As a badge of quality, receiving full accreditation from the Higher Learning Commission for 10 years. As a badge of quality, conferring our first baccalaureate degree in mechanical engineering technology to our first graduating class. As a badge of quality, enjoying a high licensure passing rate in our health programs. As a badge of value, receiving multiple honors from many area agencies for service to our community. We are very thankful for your support as we begin the journey towards a better future with continuous commitment to being a leader in higher education and achieving greater community prosperity and a better quality of life for our region. Today is a momentous occasion because we are here to recognize, honor, and celebrate the accomplishment of each student in this class and mark the new opportunity for progression in his or her respective career path. Commencement is special because it recognizes each of you, the graduate, for the completion of a significant goal which required a high level of hard work, commitment, and personal dedication. Graduation marks the end of months of study of struggle and of sacrifice. Congratulations for crossing the finish line of this marathon. Yet you, you the graduates, are not the only ones who have sacrificed so you could be here today. I would like to take a moment to recognize some very important people who have helped you make today possible. Today, we take a moment to acknowledge your parents, your spouses, your children, your grandparents, your relatives, and your friends. It takes a community to raise a community, so please take the opportunity to recognize and thank all the caring and supportive people who have helped you on your journey. Graduation is also known as commencement. With today's graduation, each of you will begin a new phase in your life and one I hope you will jumpstart with as much energy, faith, and dedication. As Willy Wonka indicated in the Chocolate Factory movie, you now have a golden ticket to future adventures. Learn to have faith in yourself and all that you have learned. You are also capable of learning much more. Please continue your education. 
Start another journey in your life. Overstep your bounds. Stretch your abilities. Push your limits. When you do that, you will make mistakes. And that's acceptable because only those who work make them. And mistakes are common to achievers and are nothing but learning opportunities. And as the saying goes, our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. You will also meet many challenges for life is so full of them. I ask you to have the determination, the endurance and grit, which is the combination of passion and perseverance to work as hard to go over these obstacles. You are helping to raise the education attainment in our community. Since 2010 alone, we have served more than 8,000 high school students through some form of early college or door enrollment. These students have earned more than 100,000 credits, saving themselves and their families millions of dollars. This is part of our commitment to higher educational attainment that provides better jobs, a better standard of living, a better quality of life, with less dependence on social services and more engaged citizen for a stronger democracy and a better society. That is what makes us proud of your achievement, and I thank you. I would like to take a moment to recognize another very special group of people, our military veterans. These special people are members of our family, members of our community. They are our friends and our neighbors. Each have taken time out of their lives at some point to serve in the defense of our great nation. Thank you all for your service to this land of the free and home of the brave. It's now my pleasure to recognize our Board of Trustees and the Chair of the Board. One of the greatest strengths of North Central State College is that it's directed by a legislatively empowered local policymaking Board of Trustees. The college is extremely fortunate to be served by a governing board consisting of members who give freely of their time and expertise and are generally committed to representing the college ownership and promoting the advancement and excellence of the college. It is my pleasure to recognize each of them. Mr. Matthew Smith, Board Chair. Dr. Dwight McElfresh, Board Vice Chair. Ms. Linda Nelson, Board Secretary. Mr. Mark Masters, Mr. Roger Miller, Ms. Elizabeth Morando, Ms. Pamela Mowry, Mr. Steve Stone, and Ms. Kimberly Winkle. On behalf of the citizen of the North Central State College District, I thank each of them for their dedicated service to our college and the community we serve from across Richland, Ashland, and Crawford County. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Chair for our Board of Trustees, Mr. Matthew Smith. Graduating class, guests, members of our NCSC family, it is my honor to address you today on behalf of the nine members of the North Central State College Board of Trustees. We are proud of each of you for achieving this moment. As an indicator of our commitment to our country and our community, each of our monthly board meetings opens first with the Pledge of Allegiance and then with the global mission statement of the college, which is North Central State College exists for the citizens of its service region to attain the knowledge and skills to succeed in their chosen path of learning, work, or enrichment. Class of 2021, we are here to celebrate you as your graduation serves as evidence of our fulfillment of this mission. You are going to receive your diplomas very soon, and those diplomas represent many things. Among them are hard work, commitment to a goal, perseverance, and a desire for a better future. You are showing the world that education matters to you. I want to share a couple of quotations with you. As he changed history, Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And also from a very wise Dr. Seuss, you are off to great places. Today's your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Class of 2021, whatever your next steps are, get out there and make your mark, our world our community need you and your unique contributions. He served as a member of both the Ohio Senate and the Ohio House of Representatives, including four years as Speaker of the House. He also served as Secretary of State where he transformed operations, resulting in his ability to run the office for the final two years of his term 
without using any tax dollars. Of all his responsibilities, he considers his most important roles to be that of husband to his wife, Tina, and father to Alex, Katie, and Tyler. It is my pleasure now to introduce Lieutenant Governor of the State of Ohio, John Husted. Hello, I'm John Husted, Ohio's Lieutenant Governor. I'd like to congratulate every one of you today for what you've achieved. It's not easy to complete a degree in higher education at North Central State College. It takes a lot of determination and sacrifice. That's how life is. It's a series of challenges that you overcome that help you build confidence about what you want to achieve, what you would aspire to achieve in the future. Nothing that comes easy really has a lot of value in life. It's the things that you struggle for. It's the mountains that you climb, the challenges that you overcome that build your character, that build your confidence, that help you know that you are capable of tackling big things in life. I believe life is about a series of choices you make and how you react to them. You're gonna make some smart decisions in your life. You're gonna make some bad decisions too. Sometimes you're gonna get lucky and sometimes you'll be unlucky. How you react to the good and bad that comes in life is what builds your character. It will shape your life. The most important thing is that you learn from the mistakes you make. Reflect on what you could have done better. So when you're in a familiar situation again in the future, you'll know what to do. You're at a point in your life that's full of opportunity and the decisions you make right now and over the next few years will put you on a path to a brighter future. Make sure that that path you're going down is the one that's right for you. But today is a day of recognition and achievement. Having an education in this modern society that we live in is more important than ever. The right kind of skills can open doors for you to achieve things that frankly, generations before you could have never dreamed of. And now, by graduating and earning that diploma, you have built the foundation for your future. I wanna congratulate all of you. I know you've overcome many things, many obstacles to get to today. I hope that gives you a sense of pride. I hope you feel wonderful about your achievement. I'm excited about it. I know that as a leader of Ohio, that our state needs, we must have people like you getting their education, achieving great things in the workplace, being leaders in their communities, these kinds of achievements are important for our society to be a success, and it's important for you to be a success. I want to conclude by saying thank you to your families, to the school, to your teachers, to your classmates, everybody who was part of the effort that led to this great day today. And for all of you who've earned those diplomas, congratulations. Go out and make the world a better place. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our Student Scholar of the Year. North Central State College is a member of the American Association of Community Colleges, known as AACC. AACC is the largest and most prestigious organization of two-year colleges in the United States. As a member of that group, the college was eligible to nominate students for consideration in the All USA Academic Team Competition for 2021, co-sponsored by Phi Theta Kappa, International Honor Society of Two-Year Colleges, and USA Today newspaper. The purpose of this award is to recognize scholarly achievement of students enrolled in community, technical, and junior colleges. I am delighted to announce that Brooke Ashcroft was selected as North Central State College 2021 Student Scholar of the Year. A few words about Brooke. Brooke is a second-year student in the criminal justice program, a member of the Beta Theta Eta chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, and currently carries a GPA of 4.0. She is a 2019 graduate from Ontario High School and currently resides in the Ontario area. Following graduation, Brooke plans to transfer to the University of Cincinnati to continue her education to obtain a baccalaureate degree. As Student Scholar of the Year, Brooke was nominated for the All-Ohio Academic Team and receive a proclamation of achievement from Congresswoman Marilyn John of the Second Ohio District. Congratulations, Brooke. Now I would like to recognize some special groups of our students. 
Phi Theta Kappa is the International Honor Society for the two-year colleges. Its driving purpose is to recognize and encourage scholarship among two-year college students by providing opportunities for the development of leadership and service, for an intellectual climate for exchange of ideas and ideals, for lively fellowship among scholars, and for stimulation of interest in continuing academic excellence. Our Beta Theta Eta chapter takes pride in carrying out these aims, and our members exemplify those qualities of scholarship, leadership, and character. Along with their chapter advisor, Ms. Barb Keener, we congratulate all of the Phi Theta Kappa graduates of our Beta Theta Eta chapter. It's now my pleasure to introduce the student members of the National Society of Leadership and Success. In only its seventh year on the Mansfield campus, Sigma Alpha Pi has garnered a membership and fellowship of some of the brightest and most driven students from both North Central State College and The Ohio State University at Mansfield. With the society's goals of building leaders who make a better world, membership into this elite group requires candidates to undergo multiple steps with successful candidates being granted lifetime membership. The society provides a community where like-minded, success-oriented individuals come together and help one another succeed and serves as a powerful force of good in the greater community by encouraging and organizing action to better the world. Along with their chapter advisor, Ms. Barb Keener, we congratulate all of the, Sig of the Sigma Alpha Pi graduates. It's now my pleasure to recognize our College Now graduates. College Now allows students to complete their junior and senior years of high school credits while earning college credits at the same time. Successful graduates receive both their high school diploma and their college associate degree in business, bioscience, or engineering technology. College Now was developed collaboratively by College Tech Prep, Pioneer Career and Technology Center, and North Central State College in 2004 as the first of its kind in the, in the country in engineering. Today, there are also College Now programs in business and bioscience, as well as engineering with more than 350 graduates. These students will receive their associate degree today, even before they receive their high school diploma in the coming weeks. Along with their NC State advisor, Ms. Darcy Carnes, Ms. Rita Weening, and Mr. Stephen Purvis, we congratulate all of our College Now graduates. You are truly today's higher education pioneers. It's now my pleasure to recognize our Tuition Freedom Scholarships graduates. You may already have heard of our Tuition Freedom Scholarship program, now in its seventh year. It provides dual enrollment or career technical students who come to us from high schools with at least nine credits and a 2.5 GPA while attending college full-time with free tuition. I repeat, free tuition until they finish 64 credit hours or their associate degree. In the past six years, we have welcomed 590 of these Tuition Freedom Scholars from 50 different high schools. We have invested more than $2.4 million in their scholarships. We have also leveraged support from partners such as the Richland County, Shelby, and Black Family Foundations, which have funded 171,000 in scholarships. Overall, these students are taking more credits, are being more persistent, and are being more successful. In less than six years, 255 of these scholars have earned a degree or certificate. This year, we have 66 of our Tuition Freedom Scholars in the spring graduating class. Congratulations to you all. It now gives me great pleasure to recognize our Honors College Scholars. Exemplary students with a grade point average of 3.5 and higher are invited to participate in the Honors College. These students complete their regular programs of study, but additionally choose to enhance their education by diving deeper into their studies through a variety of ways, including civic engagement. Additionally, they participate in special learning opportunities in leadership, character development, and global awareness. Along with our director for the Honors College, Ms. Kimberly Leibarger, we congratulate all the graduates who have earned Honors College credit. You are to be commended for your hard work and effort beyond the classroom. When an Honors College student has completed 15 or more credit hours of Honors College credit, that student becomes an Honors College graduate. 
This year, we have three students who have achieved this special distinction. This year's Honors College graduates are Caitlin Winters is a College Credit Plus College Now student graduating with an Associate of Science degree in Business Administration. Caitlin is currently enrolled and will be attending Ashland University to complete her bachelor's degree in marketing. Also, Alfred Steinhelfer is a College Credit Plus College Now student graduating with an Associate of Applied Science degree in Integrated Engineering Technology. Alfred plans to continue his education at the University of Akron to acquire his bachelor degree in electrical engineering. Also, Elena Hill is a tuition freedom scholarship and Choose Ohio First Scholarship recipient and is graduating with an Associate of Applied Science degree in nursing. She plans to begin working at Ohio Health as a registered nurse and continuing her education in the RN to BSN online program with The Ohio State University. Congratulations to each of our 2021 North Central State College Honors College graduates. It's now my distinct honor to introduce to you our first graduating class of BASMAT graduates. On March 4, 2019, the Higher Learning Commission approved North Central State College to offer the Bachelor of Applied Science and Mechanical Engineering Technology degree. In this program, graduates with an associate degree in mechanical engineering technology from any community college in Ohio have transferable credit to give them direct placement into junior year coursework toward earning a bachelor degree in basement program. Now, just two years later, we have our very first class of graduates earning their bachelor's degree from North Central State College. This is quite an impressive accomplishment for both our graduates and our college. Congratulations to each of our class of 2021 North Central State College BASMET graduates. It takes many essential elements to make a college an institution of quality. The most significant factor is a quality faculty. I am proud to acknowledge the outstanding and dedicated faculty of North Central State College, and I would like to take a moment to acknowledge them now along with our newest professors emeritus, Ms. Beth Franz and Ms. Margaret Puckett. Congratulations to each member of our distinguished faculty for these graduates stand as testament of your knowledge, skill, and dedication to your profession. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Ricky Branham to share some words from our North Central State College Alumni Association. Good evening. I'm Ricky Branham, president of the Alumni Association. I'm happy to be here today and to celebrate our soon-to-be alumni's hard work and determination. First, let me offer my congratulations to each and every one of you graduates. I remember the day that I graduated and sat where you are now. Since then, I have remained engaged with North Central State College by joining the Alumni Association. I have led the group as president and I have served as a member of the Foundation Board of Trustees. For you graduates, the North Central State College Alumni Association has a small token of appreciation for all your hard work. There's also information about how joining the association benefits student scholarships and how you too can become a member. I hope that you'll join me in staying connected to the college and by becoming in the, involved in the Alumni Association, by liking us on Facebook and by joining the NC State Alumni LinkedIn page. In closing, I'd like to convey our congratulations from the NC State Alumni Association and to let you know that you are now a part of a distinctive group of over 14,000 alumni who have had the privilege of graduating from North Central State College. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Vice President of Academic Services, Dr. Kelly Gray, to present the graduates. President Diab, upon recommendation of the faculty and in accordance with the degree requirements established by the North Central State College Board of Trustees and the Ohio Department of Higher Education, it is my privilege and pleasure to present to you the candidates for the conferral of the Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Business, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Technical Studies, and Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. President Diab, I'd like to introduce the North Central State College Class of 2021. Members of the graduating class of 2021, by the authority vested in me by the state of Ohio, 
I hereby bestow upon each of you the associate degree of applied business, the associate degree of applied science, the associate degree of arts, the associate degree of science, the associate degree of technical studies, and the bachelor of applied science degree. As evidenced by completion of all academic requirements prescribed by North Central State College and the Ohio Department of Higher Education. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Congratulations, class of 2021. You are now graduates of North Central State College. Yay! I declare this convocation closed. <laughs>